Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob, and we are doing some wood burning on our birdhouse, bird nest box. Did a little wood burning on our stunt worm. Stunt worm! Look at the nose on that guy. Hey, your nose ain't so awesome either there, Just Carve Rob. Stunt worm, go do some stunts, okay? Whee! Maybe we should make a cape for the stunt worm. What do you guys think? All right. So we're doing some wood burning. Um, I, I like to do the wood burning. It keeps my colors, paint, stains, whatever. It keeps them from traveling. Like, let's say we're staining this red, and but we want to stain this walnut. The wood burning uh, helps stop the red from traveling into, let's say, the walnut. All right? So... Yeah, it takes a little extra time. It also gives helps to give it a little bit of an antiquing look. Um, and you'll even see these lines through the stain. So it gives it more defined look. Okay. But th this is all personal preference, guys. If you like to do this, uh, I always liked wood burning. I started wood burning before I, well, no, I didn't. I started carving. And then I got in, I did a little bit of the wood burning thing and, and, uh, found out that it just wasn't in my skill base at that time. Cause I can't draw to save myself. Uh, I can, I can doodle. I can doodle. So usually before I even carve something, I doodle it just to give my uh, third eye or or whatever, uh, you know, just give you something to shoot for. You can go back and look at your little scribbles and that kind of stuff. I scribble. I scribble, scribble. I got a sketchbook full of scribbles of ideas and plans and things I want to make and build and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I got plans on building a seven foot tall metal robot mailbox holder. And I've been gathering pieces and pieces. I need to get a couple of uh, like front wheel drive axles to make his arms. Just got done rebuilding the engine in my truck. And uh, so I got camshafts and stuff like that to make the make his backbone out of some old car cams out of motors. And I got lifters for fingers and yeah, we got all kinds of crazy crap. Uh, but yeah, need to get a couple of CV joints to make the shoulders and wrist. So I need uh, four, four CV joints, four CV axles, like out of a front wheel drive car. I've got one, and a buddy of mine says he's getting ready to change his and his Jeep, the front axles, so he's going to give me those, he got a short one and a long one, so that's one arm, so, and I think I've got one long one already, so I need another short one for the other arm, yeah, it's all laid out in my head, it's, uh, sometimes the problem's getting it from your head to your hands. See, Mario made the old magnetic fish game, eh, Mario? You take uh, you take some screws and put them. You cut out some little wooden fish and carve them, and then you can put uh, screws in them. And you use uh, a dowel rod with a string with a magnet, 
to pick the fish up. Keep the kiddos busy. Playing the old magnetic fish game. Uh, I don't know if it was Fisher Price or Mattel made it back in the day. I don't even remember how you play the game. I think you draw a card and it's got a color. And then you got to pick up that colored fish or something like that. You'd have to go see Mario Tata's Carving. Go, go to ask Mario. He made the game, remade the game, so I guess he would know how to play the game, huh? You would think, anyway. Yeah, Mario's a funny guy. So's uh, that Phil group. He's a pretty funny guy, too. Phil makes a lot of crazy stuff. I don't know. I don't know what you're smoking, Phil, but I wish you'd send me some because man, that imagination you got is crazy. Phil Grop. G R O P P. Also no also known as Postal Philly. Phil's a great guy. And then of course, I don't even got to mention Jordy over there at Carbon Fusion, do I? But I'm going to. Jordy at Carbon Fusion, the king of the wood spirits. I have learned so much from Jordy's channel. These eyes, for example, if it wasn't for Jordy uh, and Grumpy Jesse, I don't think I would have ever got any good at doing eyes. I mean, these aren't the best eyes, they're not even a good eye. But. They look better than the ones I used to carve. All right, so let's do some, uh, got some age lines in his eye bags here. Let's go ahead and put them in. Yeah, Rock of Ages USA. Rock's been doing a lot of stuff over there. Doing a lot of singing. I got told not to sing no more. I got a comment that said, stick to your day job, Rob. Your singing sucks. So, no more singing, guys. Well, we'll see. I never claimed to be a professional singer. Not even close. I just sing for funny songs, you know. That's why you haven't seen me on American Idol or any of those shows. America's Got Talent. Because I don't got none. Hey, have you guys ever seen that guy? Uh, he's got a YouTube channel, Carving and Such. I think he's based out of Florida. He's, he's a pretty good wood carver, too. Should go check him out. There's a lot of great carvers out there, guys. A lot of great carvers. Carve a lot, do a lot better carving than the donkey shit I carve. Now look, we're gonna put a age line right here, an age line right here. But I really don't care because I like what I carve most of the time. Sometimes I don't care for it. Those are the ones that get put in the fireplace, right? The ones you don't like. Should we cut? Should we burn his nose in right here? Make that stand out a little bit after he's stained. Sure, why not, Rob? Why not? Do this side too, right? Yeah, it's a it's a pretty nice day. It's still a little chilly, but this, at least the sun's out today. I'd like to say thanks to Pete Blair. He showed us a redesign on his uh, mobile carving station. And I'm getting ready to make one, so thank you, Pete. Pete's helping us out by not letting us make uh, mistakes. You know, you've got to learn from... People that have done it, learn those uh, 
how to get around not do, making the same mistakes yourself. It just makes your stuff better by learning from them. And isn't that what our channel is all about, is learning how to do different things from different people? Uh, yeah. And uh, I got to throw it in there. I didn't care for it this morning on my my Facebook page. People picking on people. <clears throat> Let's be nice to each other, guys, okay? We don't have to defend... Always be nice. That's, I try to always be nice. So what do you guys think about Grumpy Jesse's girlfriend there, Jessica? I don't know if that's a match made in heaven or not. In the last video I seen, she was trying to trying to get me to marry her. But uh, that can't happen because I'm already married. And I don't need a, a mistress. A wooden mistress, anyway. <laughs> but it's always nice to know somebody loves you, even if they're made out of wood. Besides, you don't want to steal Grumpy Jesse's woman. <clears throat> you never know what his reprisal will be. Oh, Grumpy Jesse, yeah. There, see? Yeah, that's why I like the wood burning, because it makes things pop out. And Jordy said he's going over to get some cedar today. I guess his cousin owns a sawmill or something. He's going to get some cedar. I don't got no cousins like that. I got one cousin that's a prison guard and another cousin that's a beatnik. So... A beatnik? What's a beatnik, Rob? A beatnik is a poor hippie. A, a poor yuppie. Yuppie. A poor, yeah, a poor yuppie or a, a super poor hippie. <laughs> uh, evil, evil Rick. You know about the hippies, don't you, evil Rick? Evil, evil Rick. That guy is the puzzle master. He's always got a some kind of puzzles, how many feathers are in a goose, or how many cups of water is in a lake, or how many stars are in the universe, I don't know. Rick's always got some kind of word puzzle he throws at you. Yeah, evil, evil Rick. I don't know what's happened with our buddy over there, uh, Studio on the Lake, Ben. He made a troll king. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. He made a troll king, and then he hasn't done nothing else since. Is that what I should do? Make a video and then not do anything for a while. You guys getting too much Just Carve Rob? I don't know. Is there such a thing as too much Just Carve Rob? According to my wife and my son, there's a, 
Yes, that's a definite yes. You can get too much of Rob. So. Do you guys like the longer videos or the shorter? Man, you can smell that pine. Woo! When you're burning it. Smells like a Christmas tree in here. So do you guys like the longer videos or do you like the shorter videos? Inquiry minds want to know. I try to keep them down to uh, like that 15 minute lunchtime video thing so you can eat your sandwich or watch it after you eat your sandwich type thing. Um, some of them have been running a little bit long. Now, like Jordy, he likes watching the uh, longer videos because it puts him to sleep at night. He said, yep, I can turn on a Just Carb Rob video and fall right asleep. So I don't know whether to take that as a compliment. Uh, I guess it's cheaper than no uh, sleeping pills, right? Yeah, unfortunately, this summer, uh, there won't probably won't be that many Just Carb Rob videos. So you guys are going to have to watch Just Carb Rob reruns. Um, big projects. Big projects coming up. Got my big truck running again. I think I already said that, didn't I? We rebuilt the motor in the... I got an 08 Silverado that we just rebuilt the motor in. And, uh... Of course, we never rebuild anything back to the original. We had to add more power. And we did. Lots of more power. She's putting out 530 horses now. Uh... Doc, I believe it's putting out, it's a three, five point, <clears throat> five point three liter V8. And, uh, yeah, stock, I think it's putting out like 300 and some horses. It's a LS motor. So, um, it was one of them, one of them motors that, GM decided, hey, let's drop some, let's drop four cylinders when you hit 65 miles an hour. We'll save gas. It don't save you no gas. It is the crappiest thing they ever did to a truck. You buy a V8 because you want that V8 horsepower, right? To pull things. Nope. GM decided in 08, I think it was 08 to uh, 2014, they decided that they were going to try that stupid drop. Uh, Multiple displacement motor where you drop cylinders once you hit cruising speed. And, uh, yeah, it didn't work in the 80s in the, uh, the Cadillacs. They tried it back in the 80s doing the drop four cylinders to save gas bull crap. Okay. If I want a four cylinder truck GM, I will buy a four cylinder truck GM. And what's up with that three cylinder trucks? Come on. And a five-cylinder truck. What the heck? What are you guys thinking about? Somebody had their head in their backside when they figured that one out. So, uh, you buy a Hummer, right? All-terrain vehicle. Hummer. You expect to have all kinds of power with it. Now, the H2s had the, uh, had the V8 in them, right? And then they come out with the H3s and they put a five-cylinder in it. What the heck? <clears throat> GM used to be my favorite truck. I think uh, I'm, I've got split feelings on that now. The truck's only got 100 160,000 miles on it. And I had to rebuild the freaking motor in it. 
because they uh that like I said that multiple displacement uh but when I rebuilt it guess what it don't have multiple displacement no more guys it's a V8 a V8 and it's V8 all the time I know you guys don't care about my truck problems okay so here we go this is what he's looking like I really need to raise you guys up so you can see the whole the whole shebang. See, we burned his eyebrows and his eye bags and all that stuff. And we traced out his beard and his mustache. I better watch what I'm doing. Burning my look, I'm burning my freaking my thing here. Um, should we go through and do some of the beard? Do some of the hairs in the beard, make the beard stand out a little bit more? I think so. You can see I built a longer, don't touch it, Rob. I built a longer uh, wire for my wood burning unit. And uh, with the longer wire, there's more resistance. So you have to crank the, the heat up on it. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, that's our wood burning video for the day. We're running long here. So you guys uh, take care, stay safe, keep your social distance, distance, distancing, distancing thing up, and uh, be awesome, carve something awesome, be good to each other, guys, and we will catch you guys on the next one, all right? All right. Remember, share, subscribe, and like, and we will get back to you on the next one. Just Carve Rob saying, Just Carve.